So today we are going to officially do day two of flight training. Um, we tried to do it the other day and couldn't because there was uh, other people in the server. I'll be with uh, Chief Strutman today. set up. Want to do the? Uh, are we doing the uh, Blackhawks for the uh, formations, or are we doing little birds? Um, well, yeah, we'll do Blackhawks for the flight formation, and then we'll do the Apache for the emerg emergency procedures, because it's a little bit more forgiving. Okay, I was just curious. I uh, got the Apache uh, both radios set up. I was going to go set up radios in Blackhawk. Yep. yep, sounds good.
Ready? All set. Cool. Awesome. Um, so obviously the main thing with formation, I mean, sorry, not formation flight, with flight planning is choosing the best possible route that will ensure the safety of the aircraft and also get there in a timely manner. Um, so not just going all the way around the map to get to one point, but choosing somewhere that might require a little more skill to fly through or utilizing terrain um, to get through the, get to the LZ. Um, covered the terrain features and map markings, right? Uh, yes, we did. Yeah, like, so you know what a main road looks like. Um, uh, actually, we didn't get too depth in, too in depth into the key because, again, it was Roche and uh, there wasn't a lot of a lot to choose from. Um, so, like as far as choosing between an MSR and an ASR, um, I kind of I kind of was looking at the key um, on my own, um, so I kind of figured it out, but we didn't really go over it. Uh, MSR. Okay, so if you look at like to like the left to the west of Fob Shifty, I marked the roads. Um, so the, there's the main road, um, right? And there's the main side road. Then there's going to be an ASR, which is the additional side road. Um, with that in mind, main roads usually are going to be the orange ones. These are going to be paved. Uh, to keep that in mind, um, the MSR is going to be also paved for the most part, um, whether that be impacted gravel, but it's going to look pretty paved. Um, and then lastly, there's going to be the ASRs. These are going to be like your dirt roads. Um, they're not going to be really paved. They might be like compacted down, whatever. Um, and then they're, they're, I can't find an unpaved road but there are a few of them so keep a lookout for them um, we also okay. have a telephone wire running right here see that uh, yes I do okay and then there is so, uh, just uh, just for my own uh, like an unpaved road would it be like this yeah that could be an unpaved road I think those are yeah, yeah okay these are. okay <clears throat> Um, we've got the electrical wires running through here. Um, we obviously have trees right here, um, a church, map markings. Um, over this way, there's some rocks clustered together. Rocks are marked with these like mountain features. Um, so just keep a lookout for them. They can be grouped that close together, but if you see bunch of them together. There are usually a lot of them in that general cluster. Um, obviously, we have terrain markings, the red, and then the like tannish beige colors. Uh, these tell you the how the gradient is working on the ground. Uh, buildings are marked clearly. Um, buildings have different shapes, obviously. Some of these are containers. Some of them are not. Um, Really it. Oh, and then obviously military compounds are usually will have military on them. Uh, water towers out to hill towards nine one. Good reference one two six one six three. Uh, a few water towers. Yep, water tower right there. Um, gas station. Most of them are common sense. Um, let me try to find this something. I don't know if this map will have it. Oh, yeah, there's also windmills up to the northwest, obviously. Those, if you've ever flown on this map or walked around this map, there are windmills up to the northwest they need to keep an eye out for. Okay. Um, and I don't think this map has any tree farms. Those will just show up as, like, little green dots, like, clustered together, so just keep that in mind. That's on Roche. Okay. And, yeah, that's it. Okay, super. Any other questions? Uh, negative. Very cool. Um, you have a map tool, right? Affirmative. 
Yeah, so map tool is pretty useful. It will come out for me. I don't know where my map tool is. Fuck is others. Uh, it will go in the bottom left corner. Uh, so map tools are pretty nifty and useful if you're lost. Um, they're also useful in flight planning to draw straight lines. Um, you could draw straight lines on any of the edges of it. And pretty helpful. I accidentally drew a straight line. Um, you could also rotate it. Uh, holding Alt and then spinning it around. That will give you direction, and you can use that to help um, find your way with the compass if you're on the ground. Um, so say, for example, if you see, like if we're out towards the Urban Warfare Center and you see something out to, where is the nearest town? Out to your west, um, you can say, okay, wait, so that's to my west. If that's to my west, where, like what direction it is, and you can maybe base um, where you are based off of what you see, any major identifying features. Um, like if you see the town, if you see a church, if you see the salt flats, uh, you know you're somewhere on the salt flats, try to find something that would be identifying, maybe the hills up to the northwest. Um, yeah, and then once you figure that out, then you can see how far you are in distance wise. Obviously, each if you're zoomed all the way out, each one of these, I forget how big they are. I think they're like two, three kilometers. Um, but if you're zoomed all the way in, the smallest grids are going to be um, 100 meters by 100 meters. Okay. Uh, I do have a question as far as, like, I know how to draw a straight line just freehanding it, but I don't know how to actually draw a straight line along the edge of the map tool. So um, hold control and then... Or drawing along the edge of it and as far as you want and it will come out a straight line. Oh, okay, I see. I never knew that. Thank you. Huh? Alright, so I have marked two LZs. I've done Alpha and Bravo. Uh, we will be taking off from here going to one of those two depending on whichever one you want to go to. And from there, we will go to the other one. You want to use one and create a flight plan towards it. Okay. <clears throat> a little easier, but when we go from Alpha to Bravo, it might be a little bit more difficult. Right, um, okay. Which channel? Does it matter which channel I draw these in? Side or global will probably be the best. Okay. <clears throat> oh, uh, I forgot to mention this. When we're flight planning, also try to stay away from towns. Big towns, we don't like flying over towns for some reason, unless we absolutely have to. But yeah, try to stay away from Pounds. Okay. <clears throat> well, the planned alpha is pretty easy. Uh, just depart to the southwest um, and then make that turn there out over the, uh, the bay or the gulf straight into alpha. That's fairly simple. Right. And that's right. Yep. You just avoid the hills here. Uh, we don't like changing our altitude a whole lot, so avoid any of the hills that you see, and then it's a straight shot. Um, the next one from alpha to bravo or bravo to alpha, that's going to be, how would you plan that one out? Um, I would probably want to um, look in here real quick. Obviously, if it requires you to change altitude, which this might, um, then you can. 
uh, yeah. Uh, maybe something like that. That looks like it works. It does get us a little close to this one town here. Yeah, I didn't see but, it but we're not going over it. Um, Sirta also, but at least we're not going over it. And it looks like we're going to mainly stay in, in draws. Uh, and kind of the side of the hills. Although this one hill right here, though, I might I might want to rethink that because on the approach there we got that hill nine two that we would have to climb up and then drop down over the backside pretty quick. Um, so you can change that. You could just say like take take the road or divert off left. Um, obviously, staying in the valley is the best idea. I just drew somewhat similar to yours, um, taking this. Taking that kind of way. Um, okay, yeah, that does make more sense there. I just, I just stayed away from this little area. Uh, might get a little tight right here. Right. Okay. That's that's just all. Um, I did go over this town, but I guess to stay, we stayed away from this town and somewhat away from that. Um, and then I like how you follow this draw all the way through here, because that's if you zoom all the way out, you can see that this is basically a giant draw through here. Right. Um, so yeah, don't don't be afraid to zoom out all the way or zoom out a good distance and then zoom back in to see the more um, minute details to get an overall idea. But yeah, that's a giant draw that we can follow all the way through, and then. Ever maybe follow the road and turn left and go through. Um, we have the option, but yeah, it's a good idea. And then Bravo back to Fob Shifty or Ravi Air Base. Okay. We don't have to come in on a runway heading, just to make that a little oh. bit easier if you want. Okay. Mm. And I, I don't usually draw with straight lines if I don't have to, but it does make it a little bit easier. I just flow a little bit better. I'm freehanding it. Maybe something like that. That would... That would work. Go around this hill right here, yep. Come in. There are two, um... Two natural draws. Right here, and then one down into here as well but it does require you to go over this hill but, yep I like that that looks good I could, that kind of airfield is in the middle of a valley whichever way you go oh right okay you can always if you want to just avoid all of this and then swing out around the water Come back in as well. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of contemplating that too. Um, and that's perfectly okay. Yeah. It is if we swing out around the water, so don't, don't ever take the water out of question. This water can also be your, your friend. If we swing out around the water, and if there is, say, like AA, like near Athera or 
other stuff, we can always mask ourselves, just getting really low down towards the coast. Um, coming in, but yeah, I like yours. Your plan's good. So we're gonna actually gonna do this reverse. I'm gonna fly to I'm gonna fly to Bravo. I'll do. I'll give callouts and stuff just to so that you could see how it goes. Um, and then from Bravo to Alpha. You're going to call out and you're going to be flight lead. Okay. And, and then we're going to land, sit down, talk about it, see if there's anything wrong. And then from Alpha all the way back to the airbase, we're just going to bomb rush it um, following the flight line. Okay? Yep, sounds good. All right. So um, usually before we fly, we talk about uh, what our speed is. This might be in the bird or outside of the bird. Um, so when we take off, obviously, we're going to head out uh, northeast or north, basically. Uh, level, we're going to stay, we're going to say 30 meters above. We're going to do some contour, low-level flight. Uh, first left turn, up until the left turn, speed's going to be 120. So we're like 30, 40 meters, and then as we make the left turn, we'll pick up the speed and then... Also, gradually increase our altitude because we're going to have to. So, speed's going to be 180 climbing up. And then, obviously, right around here, that area will be pilot's discretion on speed and altitude. So, okay. when when you flight plan, make sure there's usually around two kilometers, one, one to two kilometers. It's usually pilot's discretion coming into land. Um, that's the big thing. Is pilots land differently. I don't know if you notice that. We all kind of take it in at different speeds. Right. Must can handle it a little bit different. Um, so two kilometers, roughly two kilometers. This is like 1.8, whatever. Um, pilot's discretion, come in. Um, I'll land far on the runway. Give everybody space. Then we'll be all good. Talk about it. Have any questions, comments, concerns, and then you'll do it. Then... And we'll do this circuit again. Um, we'll find, I'll mark two more LZs, and then we'll do um, your flight plan at night, OK? OK, sounds good. Awesome, let's go to the helicopters. Flight of two times UH 60 m Blackhawk spooling helo parking. Blackhawks lifting heel parking, departing out to the north. second for some reason I can't open my um 
whatchamacallit, I can't open my Blue Force tracker, so well, I'm just gonna hover right here if you're good at that. Yep, I'm good. I'm all good. Let's keep going. So, speed 1, 120, uh, altitude 30. We're going to head out. Bearing 015. Altitude up to 50 as we got big power lines ahead and then speed up to 150. Right, right, turn, swing around the mountain side right now. Two. Also, increase altitude to five zero meters. Light left turn around the mountain side. Pilot's discretion. I'm um, dropping speed back down to 150. Copy 150. Light left turn.
One on the deck. Alright, any questions, comments, concerns? I might have sped up a little bit. So if the flight lead speeds up, always ask for a speed check and then he'll tell you. Okay, copy. Yeah, I um, I was able to... Uh, any, any other questions? Any questions? Uh, no. If I could have just a second, I think I gotta rebind my journal key because I wasn't able to uh, pull up the uh, distance to approach. Okay, yep, you're good. Bounded and for some reason it's still not uh, showing up, so I'll have to figure that out later. Are you talking about like when you hit J and it tells you how far you are? Hey, firm. Oh, so that's disabled on the server. I forgot to tell you that. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so just make sure you mark how far away you are for the sex one. Um, okay, so this next one to you, you will flight lead. I also forgot to tell you what formation we're flying in. Um, most times formations are going to be echelon left or echelon right. Uh, and you know what that means, right? Okay, so yeah, with that, um, pretty simple to understand. We will sometimes do like a rail formation and that's a reduced falling behind in, in a file. Um, Never really doing diamond. We'll sometimes do um, like a standard infantry one, where one guy's off to the left side, or one guy's left off, off to the right side, and the other two on the opposite. Um, but yeah, besides that, very nice job. Stayed close. Um, yep, your turn now. So, okay, copy. We will um, take off. Uh, we'll do uh, left echelon. Copy two. One's looking. You lifting, following.
drop down to uh, uh, correction to stay uh, same altitude. You speed check. Uh, One seven five. Drop down to 50 meters. Uh, correction, make it 100 meters. Thank you. And speed check. Speed check still 175. Obviously, like even if you, even if you speed up a little bit, uh, just tell everybody like speed now this or whatever. Just um, keep it short. Uh, speed increase to this altitude. Went to this. Um, people follow. Uh, usually, most people are good at following with just visual, like so, seeing where the person in front of them is, and they'll just follow based off of that. Uh, but very, very nice job. Um, We'll head back to the airbase and then we'll do this at night. Cool. Okay, sounds good. All right, um, you can leave us out since you're that way. Copy, lifting, and we will do uh, 50 meters, uh, 150. Sounds good.
speed uh, 130, we'll drop down to 50 meters. I have us up to 60. All good. Two. I'm back. Cool.
Doesn't look like it's in Crayola. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Alpha and Bravo again. Um, you, you see him? Uh, for... So we'll go from Gravia to Alpha and then Alpha to Bravo and then from there. Um, We'll just stop at Bravo because the salt pots are a nice, easy place to practice and get used to auto rotation. Okay, sounds good. Uh, keep in mind we can go over the water if need be. Um, might even be preferable. Yeah, I was looking definitely from Alpha to Bravo. I would go over the water. Um... Okay, I was thinking this approach in, um, we do have power lines that are about, um, yeah, right there. Um, I think, well, it's going to be nighttime, so we'll have to stay up above them. I was thinking daytime, it would actually be a good visual reference of, you know, where to start dropping speed to approach our LZ, but if it is going to be nighttime, so maybe I might want to rethink that. <clears throat> I like your LZ to Bravo. I mean, it's it's plain and simple. You went out the this like little bay area right here, which I agree with. Um, don't have to mess with anything out in the on the land. Pretty simple. Um, same thing with your Alpha. Just went over for the bay. Um, will be a nice visual reference right here since we're gonna get super close to it, along with this island. Um, I might have just swung it for me. I might have just said, like, forget about this, all the power lines, and brought it down. Yeah, that was my that was my first thought, um, was to do that. And then I saw, and I said, well, the power lines would be a good visual representation, but then we got to deal with them and everything. So, no, I actually, like, you're, that's why I kind of stopped, uh, if you notice. <sighs> yeah, you stopped, like, right here. Yeah, so yeah, I like your I, I like that a lot better. And then we we have obviously the coast then to be our good. Uh, as soon as we make that turn, we're about uh, we're just about two kilometers out, two and a half kilometers out. So gonna make that turn a little bit easier instead of a hard left. Um, we just we have to watch out for this stuff right here. I don't all this tricky stuff. Where that is. Their water should be fine with this. This should be like water, hydro pumps, and everything. Okay, copy. Yep, we'll do this at night. Um, let me switch it over to night. Do you have night vision on you? Uh, a firm. Okay. Oh, uh, before I do switch it over to night, um, obviously we have some night procedures that we have to go over. So we have we have to um, we have to turn on collision lights when we're near or coming to the base. Um, we are on deployment. Turn the or on an FTX cycle. Turn off your collision lights. 
soon as as you leave the area, um, because it's no longer safe. Um, for training purposes, you can leave the collision lights on or off, just so we don't hit each other. But I, I'm going to say we're going to turn them off after we leave the airbase. And yeah. Okay. Um, so my other question is, I know we got two sets of lights. We have the collision lights, and then we have like the headlights. Do we have to use both of them, or just collision lights? Just the collision lights. Um, the collision and landing lights. So those are only on within the friendly airspace. Yeah. Okay. Um, they help us see each other when we're on at night because you'll see this place gets lit up like a Christmas tree. Right. Fireman. We'll make it even darker. Okay. All good? Hey, firm. Let's do it. It's on you. my display day night <clears throat> Gravy Air Beast Phoenix flight two times UA sixty helicopters UA-60 Apache spooling and runway for direct departure to the south. Airbase Phoenix flight lifting from runway 04 departing to the south. We'll go ahead and make our altitude uh, 575 uh, and speed will be 150. Do uh, left left echelon, left after echelon. Yep. We'll increase our speed to 175, 175. Copy you too. And my altitude is uh, 90 over the water. Gravity Air Base Phoenix flight signing off 75 KJ. Increase speed to 200.
make a left turn around the peninsula. Speed 200, altitude 90. Maintain a, just a slight left-hand turn following the uh, contour of the land, uh, uh, the, 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 the land. and decrease altitude to five zero. Yep. We've got a left turn coming up. Uh, once we finish the left turn, we'll decrease to 150 and then we'll begin our approach. Copies. Okay, left turn. Uh, speed one five zero. Half a click, uh, pilot's discretion. Uh, B2. One will take right, you can take left. Yeah, you can, if you want, you can just push farther along the runway. We should be good. Copy.
deck. And two on the deck. Drop. No, uh... Is there anything? I just saw you do almost like a vertical. But <laughs> on the landing, that's good. Um, yeah. Nothing really to worry about. You ready for the next one? Uh... Yeah, already. Uh, yeah, I was uh, coming in over those trees. I didn't uh, realize my speed was up so much over those trees, so I had to bleed off real quick. <laughs> yep, you're all good. Alright, let's do the second leg, and then we'll go back to daytime and talk about auto rotation. Copy. Uh, we'll lift, uh, we'll do um, 75 meters, and we'll do uh, 150 till we get to the coast. Lifting. Drop to 50 meters, uh, make a left turn, drop to 50 meters. Yep. And we'll increase our speed to 180. Yep. Passing two kilometers, making a left turn in towards the LZ. Let's drop our speed to 150. Yep. And 
push to LZ. Food crew, helicopter, this one. Okay. So, you will go over emergency procedures there are two emergency procedures there is the auto rotation one and then there is an anti-torque failure so in auto rotation auto rotation is the state of flight in which the main rotor is no longer being mechanically driven by the engine but instead is being driven by the downward air through the helicopter or through the rotors as the helicopter descends as it glides uh, the three phases of auto rotation are the entry, glide, and flare. The entry is accomplished by immediately lowering collective and leveling your attitude. So level and collective all the way down. The glide is a steady state of descent and airflow is now up on the rotor and the airspeed and RPM must be stabilized. So when you are gliding forward, we're still descending because your collective is all the way down. Um, and you are also gaining RPNs. You'll actually hear it in game. The rotor starts to spin quicker. Um, a big difference. And then the last step is the flare. So this is the flare is a maneuver to decrease, decrease airspeed by applying a aft cyclic. So this is like going cyclic full. Um, and Descent rate slows down as the pilot prepares the touchdown due to additional lift created by the flare maneuver. So when you flare, you actually get altitude as well. Um, and when you create your, when you set your collective all the way forward or all the way up, then you're also going to cushion your landing. So with this, obviously, collective is going to be down all the way. So you're going to hold it down whole way until you, we get to, I would say, roughly 30 meters off the ground. It's the best place that I um, start to flare at. So once we're at 30 meters, start to flare, and then 20 meters, really turn the collective all the way up. Okay? Okay. Uh, question for you? Yep. <clears throat> so I've been uh, working with this with uh... Mr. Lane, and um, he showed me 
a different way to do it to where as soon as you as soon as your engines cut out you flare and down collective until you hit a uh, zero forward speed and then you level out and just kind of glide straight down and, and before you uh, apply collective um, feather the collective right before landing is that appropriate also yeah, you can also you can go into a, a normal like steady hover as well um, that works and the first time we'll do this we'll just go straight up and then I'll kill your engine and then we'll just go down next time we'll do it in forward flight okay okay <clears throat> So, yeah, let's get in the bird, and then we'll... Wait, hold on. I have to check which one. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, ready. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I, just, I, had, I had my night vision, so... <laughs> Yeah, we'll just go straight up um, at about up to 150, 200 meters, okay? Okay. And then we'll do that. Okay, and sounds And I'll good. kill your engine, and then you'll know that I'll kill your engine as I start screaming at you. And yeah. So you want this portion on auto hover? No, you just go straight up. You can put it on the auto hover to go straight up, but whatever, whatever works for you. Okay, copy. Up, up and away. And lifting. Actually, go up to 200. That works. Copy. Awesome. Um, so, obviously, we're up here, we're flying, we're normal, we could be hit, whatever. Um, the engine could be damaged, whatnot, um, with that. So, as soon as the engine gets damaged, remember, if you're Lock that all the way down, and then we'll be good, okay? Okay. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Lock that all the way down. Hydraulic failure. And then round 20. Hydraulic failure. Meters, put your collective all the way back up, and then we should. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. That's what that's Hydraulic all failure. Simple, right? We're hovering. Hydraulic failure. Makes it all simple and easy. Hydraulic failure. Yeah, I, I couldn't hear that last part. Uh, Hydraulic the, the failure. He is uh, screaming in my ears. Yeah, hold Hydraulic on. failure. He's still bitching. Uh, negative. Okay, yeah. So, uh, simple enough, we just put your collective down 20, 30 meters. You definitely do feel the difference when you turn the collective back all the way up. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, then it's like a cushioning. Make sure you're not too high above the ground because then that cushion will obviously go away. Um, because you just built up all that speed on the rotors and then if you use it too early, then it's gone. You can't really build it back. Um, all right, let's. We'll take off again. This time we'll get into like a forward flight. We'll say like 175 uh, kilometers per hour over 200. We'll do 200 again, and then I'll kill it. A random time. It'll be random, and then try to land it. Um, with this, make sure you try to find a nice flat place to land without trees and stuff. Um, try to stick a, we'll stick around the salt flats right now, 
Um, you don't have to land on the salt flats, but it would be preferable. All right. Okay, sounds good. Uh, what was the altitude you said? It's like 200 meters is good. Okay, copy. Oh, and uh, last thing before I do kill the engines, uh, turns should be done at a slow speed, like what you're doing right now, just so that you don't lose the forward flight. Um, with this, you can do the way that you want to, um, and just go into a hover, or you can uh, continue the forward flight and try to land it. I encourage you to try to do the first one. If it doesn't work out, uh, you have three to five attempts to do this, so. Um. Okay, copy. No way. I just crashed. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Wow. Um, if you want to come land and pick me up, that'd be cool. If not, if you want to try it just on your own without me, the bird, then that sounds good too. I can do it from here. If you want to uh, try it in the bird, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I can give it a try in the bird. Seven zero, by the way. Uh, affirmative. I think I can give it a try. All right. Then. Let me get my speed back up. Yep. Get your speed up, and then if you want some altitude, I'll let you do that. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Okay. 
Hidoki. Hydraulic failure. 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 On the deck. Hydraulic failure. Cool. Um, looks good. Any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, negative. I'm back. Okay, uh, now we're going to do the anti-torque failure. This one's a little bit more challenging because you're going to start spinning like a bobblehead. Not a bobblehead, like a turntable. Um, obviously, the anti-torque is the rear rotors. These things stop us from spinning in circles normally because, surprisingly, Main rotor causes the helicopter to spin because it is turning in one direction. This does the opposite and forces it in the other direction. Um, when this happens, do two things. You can do, I think I told you this before, you just cut the engines and do a normal, um, do engine off and put the collective all the way down. Okay. Do a normal auto rotation. It's simple enough. Uh, so you're not going to be gaining any torque or anything like that as you're flying with your main rotor. Um, simple enough to set down. And then once you get close to the ground, you can obviously turn the collective back up. This, I recommend, since your engine will actually be working, um, your main engine, I recommend you get a little bit closer to the ground, maybe 20, 15 meters off the ground is you're going to do some spinning once you turn the engine back on, or you turn the collective back up. Okay, copy. Okay. Um, we're going to, first example is conducted in forward flight, so 175 kilometers per hour over um, 175 meters AGL. Okay? Okay, sounds good. And then after this, we will do um, one where we start off at a hover and then it just kills. And then you start spinning and then you have to gain forward flight. Okay? Okay. Hydraulic failure. 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 
Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hydraulics failure. Yep, it, uh... Hydraulics failure. Definitely kicks in towards the end. Hydraulics okay, so yeah, failure. That, that works. Uh, nice job. Um, you Hydraulics can, failure. You can rotate once, but... Hydraulics failure. Yeah, just make sure... Hydraulics sure failure. You're comfortable enough at the right place. Uh, and turn it up that Hydraulics I'm, I'm failure. Any other damage. Let me turn off this bitching, Betty. Hold on. Okay. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hydraulics failure. Very right, cool. Um, any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, negative. Okay, right, cool. So now we'll just go straight up, and I will turn it on, and we will start spinning, and then you will attempt. You get out of the spinningness. Okay, copy. And then, so with this, you have to um, recover the aircraft and perform forward flight. Once you achieve forward speed, then you can land it however you want, however you feel safe. Okay, copy. Um, because if you don't achieve forward speed and you just kill the engine, then you're still going to spin because I hate you, but yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, lifting. And then get into a hover, and then we'll be good. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Yep, we're good. You just hit a flare. <laughs> <laughs> Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Ah. Hydraulic failure. You're all good. Um, so with this, obviously, hydraulic the failure. And stay with that direction. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Oh. Hydraulic failure. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Hydraulic failure. There we go. Okay, and then you can do whatever way you like. Hydraulic failure. 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 Pull up. Pull up. Hydraulic failure. Hydraulic failure. Whew. Hydraulic failure. That was fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hydraulic it was failure. Definitely better than the last one that I had with you. Hydraulic failure. I kill this bitching. Hydraulic failure. Okay. Yeah, that was good. 
Good. Any questions? Uh, no, no, not at all. That uh, it was just a, a bitch trying to figure out how to get that Ford flight going. Um, but yeah. So choose like like I what I do is I choose a direction, so like north south. I'm gonna push my um, cyclic forward on north, and I'm gonna pull it back on south, and I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get forward flight. You got it. You did it. Awesome. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Awesome. And I think that's all we have to do. Yeah, that's all we have to do. Cool. Um, Great. <clears throat> so if you want to disconnect now, save yourself from being stuck in a loop, I'll let you do that. Copy. All right, well, that's it for this stream. Um, I successfully passed, my nerves are shot, and I'm going to be done for the night. So thanks for watching.